Hello everyone. Welcome to Logic Medical. Today's interesting topic is Carnet sign. So what is this Carnet's sign? So it is a sign, very important sign actually, to determine whether the pain abdomen is coming from the abdominal viscera like liver, spleen, stomach, intestine, small intestine, large intestine, the kidney, ureter, hmm? or from the abdominal wall. So how can we distinguish this? See more often than not, majority of the doctors determine by examination of the patient. If they are doing per abdominal examination, they start from this area, right iliac fossa, and they move upwards towards the right hypochondrium across the umbilicus towards the left hypochondrium and across like this so they will palpate the abdomen after flexing the knee of the patient so if the patient gets the pain they feel that the pain is coming from the doctor interprets the pain is coming from the visceral organs this will result in investigation the doctor wants an ultrasound ultrasound of the abdomen okay or the ct scan or mri to tell which organ is actually affected and to what extent. So let's consider one patient has got a pain abdomen in the right hypochondriac region. More often than not the doctor feels that either the pain is coming from liver or the gallbladder. He does the palpation and he feels tenderness in that area. He orders for an ultrasound, CT scan, then uh, and even for the MRI subsequently if he is not getting positive finding in these two. All the three things comes in as null. There is no abnormality detected in the underlying organ. So all that the doctor has to do is, when the patient is lying supine position, he want he has to request the patient to raise the his legs. So it is called straight leg raising test. This leg will be there. No, you should ask the patient to lift the leg. When he lifts the leg, the patient the abdominal wall becomes tense. When it becomes tense and if it is if the pain worsens that means the pain is from the abdominal wall and not from the underlying viscera so this is chronic abdominal pain these patients with chronic abdominal pain they have entrapment of the nerves which nerves the lower six thoracic nerves from t6 t7 t8 so starting from t7 sorry how to remember this? At the umbilical system, go three numbers above 9, 8, 7. Then below the umbilicus, T11, T12, and L1. So these nerves enter this abdominal wall region uh, through the rectus sheath. Rectus sheath area. It pierces the rectus sheath, right? So when the nerve is piercing the rectus sheath, that area is usually the nerve is encircled by the fibro fatty tissue and usually it glides through that area without any difficulty usually that area of the nerve will not have any difficulty but if at all due to some pressure some fibrosis if the absence of fat to glide that area due to a trauma in the anterior abdominal wall the nerve gets entrapped and the patient feels pain either in the epigastrium or in the hypochondrium or in the umbilical region or in the hypogastric region the hypochondrium this hypogastric region this entrapment syndrome results in chronic abdominal pain most of the patient visit multiple doctors because every doctor is searching for a visceral organ pain so kindly remember this sign called as carnet sign this carnet sign is a sign helps to distinguish whether the pain is coming from the abdominal wall or from the underlying viscera when it is coming from the abdominal wall all that you have to make is Make the abdominal wall tense. Make the patient lie down in supine position. Either tell them to raise their head or the leg. If it is lower abdominal wall, the leg leg raise test is beneficial. If it is the upper abdominal wall, you tell the patient to raise their head. At that time, the anterior abdominal wall becomes tense. And if the pain increases, that means the pain is not coming from the underlying viscera. It is coming from the abdominal wall due to entrapment of the lower six thoracic nerves or the first lumbar nerve any one of these nerves depending on the region 
this is called as carnet sign positive if after the straight leg test if the pain is not intensifying or increasing that means the pain is coming from the underlying viscera this is also true that the pain gets worsened if the parietal peritoneum attached to the abdominal wall is inflamed that is an exceptional case but we can clearly make out in that case the patient will have a board like rigidity their abdomen will be like a board if you palpate their abdomen it feels like a board and there are so many other signs of peritonitis like vomiting patient will have high grade fever and overall condition of patient will be toxic so this is the details about the carnet sign carnet sign in summary it's a sign to distinguish the pain whether the pain is coming from the abdominal wall or from the underlying viscera carnet sign is said to be positive when the pain is coming from the abdominal wall if you tell the patient to raise their leg it's called leg raise test the abdominal wall becomes tense and the pain intensifies that suggests the pain is coming from the abdominal wall by the entrapment of the nerves simple treatment for this release the entrapped nerve from the rectus sheath thank you for watching and learning from logic medico kindly press the thumbs up icon most of you are seeing the video you are not liking the video please subscribe to our channel as well and share this video with your friends too thank you once again